All right, hey Libra, so what we're doing is um, a torn between two lovers spread. So I hope that the messages that come out for you um, resonate. I'm a new channel, so if you haven't subscribed, please do. And we are just going to tear right into this. We're going to start with lover number one and what they re represent in your life. Lover number one for Libra. I don't need reversals, all right? What can you get out of relationship number one? What Libra can get out of relationship number one? What can they get out of relationship number one <clears throat> for Libra? Problems that can arise. And the general advice for Libra. Dealing with lover number one, general advice. All right. And then for lover number two, what do they represent in Libra's life? Lover number two. Lover number two for Libra. What do they represent in Libra's life? What can they get out of relationship number two? What can Libra get out of relationship number two? Problems that can arise. And general advice. Okay, so Libra, I feel like you are, um, I, I see somebody, um, and I don't know whose energy I'm pulling on Libra, I know it's yours, but I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm going to tell you, I feel like you are definitely in a pickle, okay, um, because you are dealing with um, a lot. Okay, so just from what I see with this, the first person right here, um, all right. So what this person represents in your life, I feel like you you um, automatically think that this person. Um, you can have it all with them, okay. I feel like this one was um, quick to get off the ground. All right, this person is very stable, very set, and I feel like you um, think that you could have it all with them. Okay, I do feel like there's a lot of passion um, with this person, but not only passion, they're grounded, they have money, they have, um, I feel like they're uh, just a total package, okay? Um, what you can get out of this relationship. I feel like, um, you know, in, during your contemplation mode, I feel like you're going within and you're really, you're really, um, questioning this relationship. Um, can we be the king and queen of pentacles? All right. Are we divine counterparts? Um, you feel very, very stable. Like this relationship can bring you the stability that you look that you're looking for, right? You've been wanting this for a long time, um, 
and I do feel like this right here is the newer relationship that you're dealing with okay problems that can arise um, I feel like you are just you're stuck on whether or not to move forward with this relationship okay um, I feel like you know even though this so I always go right to here um, this card is the card of imbalance um, I feel like that's what what's triggering you is like what is this is too good to be true almost is how I'm feeling for you okay um, I just yeah I feel like it's you're like is this too good to be true okay type of situation um, so you're not really sure what to do whether to move forward or not and then um, the general advice so we have the two of Pentacles um, options like you have options and you're just um, kind of struggling on what to do like you have the divine counterparts right here but you um, I, I feel like you also see um, either you have a lot of energies around you or you see a lot of energies around this person right and is this person gonna match up to you know um, it's either you or them like if you have a lot of energies around you um, is this does this person deserve that you know especially if you are juggling um, which I you are obviously you have another energy right here we're gonna go through but I feel like um, I just feel like the, the juggling card is kind of hovering like which way do I go which way do I go which way do I go right um, does this person deserve this imbalance right you see what I'm saying like cuz you have the divine counterparts right here um, but we're going to get right over here and see, and then we'll get, you know, some more clarifiers in a bit, in a minute. So for person number two, it's just crazy. All right. You have the will of fortune again, you're feeling conflicted and you have the queen of wands. So this person that you're dealing with over here, um, they have a lot of energies around them, right? Um, I do feel like you were with this person right here first, and then this one came into play. Um, I don't feel like, you know, you, it doesn't matter. You could be a juggler, all right, but you're, I don't feel like you're deeply committed to either. You are in contemplation mode. You are um, feeling conflicted because, um, honestly, I, Libra, I feel like I'm talking to a male here I feel like I'm talking to a male and you are trying to, to decide between two women um, and both women are the Queen of Wands which you are attracted to both and you know that people are attracted to both right so again with the Wheel of Fortune you feel like you could have it all with this person um, I feel like energy number one came into your life second and you have this um, five of wands coming out because you are so conflicted you are tore up I feel like um, about what to do here okay um, what can you get out of relationship number one? Um, I'm sorry, out of this second relationship, um, the three of wands, um, you know, this speaks of waiting for your ships to come in, but I feel like this is also telling you forward movement, right? Um, I feel like this represents progression right here. Um, I'm not seeing that right here, but what I do see is the king and queen of pentacles divine couple divine counterparts all right but let's see okay um problems that can arise um we have the knight of pentacles and the ten of cups so um with this i feel like you you could have a wish fulfillment but i feel like um this person could potentially end up leaving you because you are taking so long to make a choice i feel like you have been with this energy for a while um, but I feel like what the universe is saying, you can have the Ten of Cups with this person right here, but if you take too long, you know, I feel like they're going to be, in, they're going to, they're going to end up leaving you. The general advice, um, we have the, um, Six of Cups. So you have been with this person for a minute. They could be a past life relationship. You could have kids with them. Um, you could just be coming back. You know, I, I'm saying you've been with them for a minute, but not committed. Like you're not married. You know, you're still making choices. You guys don't have to live together. You could still be with somebody for a long time and not actually live with them or, you know, whatever. Relationships are so indifferent now. 
um, but the six of cups, you, you could just feel like you have, you have, this is a longevity, right? Um, you have the three of cups, general advice, you put them in a third party, now you're kind of stuck. Um, but I don't feel like you are deeply committed to anybody either. You've been contemplating it and you're, you're just like, what the fuck do I do? Right? Um, I guess I, I feel like, uh, I, I don't know. If I were you, I don't know what decision I would make. Um, you have the Wheel of Fortune on both plots. You have the Six of Cups over here. You have the Ten of Cups over here. Um, you're, I feel like you're do, you are dealing with two Queen of Wands. These people, you know that... Um, I feel like Libra... I feel like I'm talking to Mel. I feel like you get to pick, but you also are um, uh, afraid that these energies also have other options and you know you have the wheel of fortune with both i feel like you have a very tough decision um with the six of cups coming out on this side this card just hits me hard because i do feel like uh, i myself am dealing with a, a twin flame um situation and the past life you know the fact that card comes up i'm just like it burns me like oh my god you know um and you got the Ten of Cups over here. I feel like the universe is saying, you know, don't don't take too long because this person's going to be gone, you know. But I also feel like this connection right here runs a lot deeper than um, maybe what you've been contemplating. It could just be that this energy right here, you just, you've been with them for a minute. Or you've been, I, you know, with the King of, the Knight of Pentacles, I feel like um, you're not deeply committed to either one of them. But this one right here, I'm, I'm just feeling like. I don't know this card hits me right here you know I don't know you got a divine you got divine counterparts right here and then you got the six of cups over here Ooh. I don't know the general advice the outcome card um I just feel like what's right here where you've been at you know Let's get some of these romance angels because I feel like you have a tough decision. What is the relationship of um, Libra and their person on the this one right here, the side person number two? I'm gonna call them. I don't. I said person number one, but I feel like this is person number two. What is the romance angel? I don't know what you're doing, Libra. <laughs> Gosh. That doesn't help. Very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. What the fuck? Person number one. I'll shit my pants right now if it says soulmate. No, I'm just joking. Sorry. Person number one. What are they? For Libra, please. Jeez. Let's get it. There we go. Shit. Pay attention to the red flags. What the fuck? What red flags? What's going on with them? Are they seeing other people? You can't get mad at them because you are, obviously. You're dealing with two people. Pay attention to the red flags. What the fuck? What's the red flags? Oh, we have a tower moment. So this person is just like, what, a little unstable? Are they bipolar? Queen of Cups. Hmm. All right, well, you know what? I don't know. This is for entertainment purposes only. I can't tell you what to do, right? Um, this person right here just may be a little bit unstable in their head. I don't know. I'm going to pull um, a Zodiac sign for each just to give you a little more clarification. All right, I don't know. You've seen it. I do feel like you feel like this person's Six of Cups energy, but clarifying the red flags, we have the Tower Moment. 
in the Queen of Cups? Is that somebody who just pretends? Do they uh, wear like an outer, outer layer? You know what I mean? Let's see. If they don't plop, then I'm just going to end up picking um, random numbers. Whatever numbers come into my head. So what? Uh, what do you guys want? Card one and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fire sign. All right, so I, yeah, very much so, because we have the king, queen of pentacles, um, a Taurus. So Libra, you could be dealing with a Taurus for person number two, and then a fire sign, um, uh, Aries, no. I'm sorry, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could be dealing with another fire sign on this side. All right. Um, hey, I don't, I can't tell you guys what to pick, but I'm, I don't know, I feel like this right here is the more stable-minded person, um, but again, um, you're in a pickle, so I don't know, Libra. This one was kind of tough for me. Uh, hopefully it resonates with you. <laughs> All right, bye.